Guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about water leak detection and where it starts. You might think it starts at the meter, but actually we're gonna start somewhere else and we're gonna talk about it right now. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I've been plumbing over 38 years and I have every master endorsement in the state of Texas. On this channel, I'm teaching you everything you need to know about plumbing. If you haven't been here before, please subscribe so you don't miss anything. So in this video, we're gonna start by putting a gauge on right here at the hose bib. The reason being, now we haven't turned the water off at the meter yet, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the gauge on because we wanna see what city water pressure is. Now I know a lot of y'all have heard about hydrostatic tests, and that's not what this is. This is strictly a leak test, but that's where it all starts. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the gauge on and we're gonna turn it on because we wanna know what the city water pressure is. If this was a hydrostatic test, what we would be doing is trying to pump up the system so we can get the pressure higher. That's not what we're doing. All we want to know is, is there a leak in the water system? So, as you can see, we've got a city water pressure of right at 70 PSI. So at this point, all we're going to do is go to the meter, turn it off, take a picture of this so we know exactly where it is at what time, and then we're gonna wait 15 minutes to see if the water pressure drops or not. Guys, for residential leak detection, if you think you've got a slab leak, this is the very first thing you do. You want to know, does the sewer leak and does the water leak? So when it comes to a water leak test or leak detection for a water line under a slab, this is how you've gotta start. You wanna know, is there actually a leak or not? Okay, so actually, what we've done is We've put the gauge on at the house, so now we've got to get in to the meter to actually shut the water off. So on a hydrostatic pump, like I said, we'd be pumping up the system. What we wanted to do is put the gauge on first while the meter's open, turn the water on at the frost proof or at the hose bib, that way we know we've got full city pressure. Now we came out the other day and actually shut off the double check assembly. So we know that no water is going to the irrigation system. And the reason that we wanted to isolate the irrigation system is what we're trying to check for, this is a buyer buying a house and we wanna make sure that there are no leaks under the house. Now I call this a slab leak, but actually this is a pier and beam house, but we still wanna make sure there are no water leaks or sewer leaks under this house. So now that we've got this open, we know this is isolated, we're gonna go ahead and turn the water off. Now what we're gonna do is go take a picture, let it set for 15 minutes, and that way we know for sure there's no leaks in this house. All right, so now I'm taking a picture, and when I look at the picture in my phone, I can actually tell what time the picture was taken. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait 15 minutes, come back and look at it again, and then I'll know if there's any pressure loss. If there is, that lets me know that there's a leak somewhere between the meter and the house. Now, if there was a valve box here, what I could do, if there is a leak, I could shut that off and determine if the leak is in the yard or if the leak's under the house. But for now, we're gonna give it 15 minutes and come back and look at it. So what we've got here, we lost about 10 pounds in about 16 minutes. I walked inside to listen because I saw that it was going down. So we let it go down a little bit longer than the 15 minutes. But what we've determined is now we know there's a leak. Either the buyer can invest money in a valve box here at the house to isolate the yard from the house. That way we know, or we can further isolate it and test again to find out which side of the house the leak is on. All right, so we've tested everything and now we know that there's a leak on the water system somewhere. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put everything back together. We're gonna let the seller and the buyer communicate and figure out, does the seller want the buyer to fix it or does the buyer just want more money off so they can fix it themselves at a later date when they want to. But the one thing that you want to remember to do is make sure that you get back in here and you turn the water back on before you leave. So guys, that's what we come into today. Now it's up to the buyers and sellers to figure out what they want to do. Does the seller want to fix things? Do the buyer just want money to fix things? How do they do it? If you've had this problem before, please leave a comment down below and let us know what you think. And then we'll see you in the next video. Until then, just keep laying pipe.